And our first contestant is Rachel Norman with her Woo! comedy stylings associated with Pokemon. Surprise! Is this thing on? Good morning, potential recruits. I am the leader of Team Magma. I am known as the Great Maxi, but you may call me the Great Maxi. Look at our planet. About 71% of it is covered in water. I think that's just way too much. IGN thinks that's just way too much. <laughs> Not only is there too much of it, but it ruins sand castles and is full of all manner of horrifying creatures. It is our mission to get rid of it. Oh, great Maxi, how are we going to do this? I hear you cry. Fear not, for I have a solution. Team Magma, myself, and Groudon will make it sunny forever. <laughs> to become a member of my team, you will need four things. Pokemon, uniformity, an excellent memory, and... and... something else. <laughs> now, I, the great Maxi, am so fantastically humble, I am willing to give you your very own Pokemon if you join my undeniably brilliant cause. And don't forget our team salute. This is how you do it. Don't you dare let me catch you doing this. This is Team Magma, not Team Swagma. This is our super secret hidden base completely out in the open and unguarded. To get to my office through the warp panels, you just need to go right, left, down the stairs, lower left, right, up, down, left, which brings you to the middle right, left, middle down, middle, left, bottom right section, left, and there you have it. Easy. So finally, now that the initiations are over, it's time for our very meticulous and detailed plan. This is incredibly top secret. You lot with cameras, make sure to burn those tapes afterwards. I will be checking. Right, here we go. Step one, we head to Rustboro and steal plans for Submarine Explorer 1. Step two, we go here and steal Mr. Briny's Wingo. That will teach it for stealing my chips on the beach. <laughs> Step three, we're going to Fall Arbor to tell Professor Cosmo that we're going rock hunting with him, but really we're going to steal whatever he finds in Meteor Falls. Step four, we head to Mount Chimney, where I will take the meteorite I stole and use its power to merge with the planet's core to awaken Groudon. We don't stop for lava cookies. Okay, fine, we stop for a few lava cookies. Yeah. Step five, we're going to head to the Weather Institute at Route 119 and tell the weatherman the forecast for the rest of our lives. Sunny skies, here we come. Step six, Mount Pyre, the big one. I will bravely fight the elderly lady on the top of the summit. I've made my glasses pepper spray proof in case she tries anything funny. And now we have the red orb. We need to take it to ground. He sleeps in a really stupid place in the seafloor cavern, an underwater cave with an impenetrable wall of rock. <laughs> so obviously we head to Slayport City, steal a submarine, paint it to look cooler, then attach a massive drill to it. <laughs> We blast into the cavern, I give Groudon the red orb, he gets stronger, we become best friends forever, and the world is now all land. IGN will finally give us a better score. Right, you all got that memorized? I thought this might happen, so I prepared a super short version of the plan that will appeal more to you. I have a red orb, I have a ground orb. Ugh, 
expand the land. Yeah. <laughs>